What's up guys, in today's video we'll be taking this Jeep Wrangler and after detailing it, turning it into this Jeep Wrangler. As you could tell, I have my work cut out for me. I'll be using a two bucket method, a foam canyon, I'm gonna clay bar, and then I'm gonna finish with a one step polish. So the first thing I'm doing is covering the whole Jeep using the foam cannon. This just loosens up any of the mud before I go over it with just the power washer. And that's me being attacked by fire ants. The amount of mud and dirt that came off of this thing is just unbelievable. And in a little bit, I'll show you just how much actually came off. Now I'm wearing goggles while power washing just because of the amount of dirt that was coming back and hitting me in the face. So definitely needed eye protection here. Once I got most of the mud off with the power washer, I go over it again with the foam cannon and then start hand washing. Now I'm using two different buckets and two different mitts. One's a wash and one's a rinse bucket. And then one mitt is for the top of the Jeep and then the second mitt is for the bottom of the Jeep and then the wheels. Once the car is all cleaned and dried, I'm gonna start clay barring. So what you wanna do is spray the quick detailer onto the clay itself and then onto the paint area you'll be working on and then using a side by side motion just slide the clay back and forth it'll be a little gritty at first and then it'll eventually after a couple passes become smoother and smoother and that's just the contaminants getting stuck to the clay once smooth then just wipe the residue with a microfiber towel and then on to the next area and just continue doing this process until you clay the entire car now you don't need to clay every time you wash your car but since i know that this has never been clayed before i knew it had to be done After claying, I taped off any rubber or black plastic because the polish can actually turn this white if it gets onto it. The product I'll be using is 3D Speed. It's a one-step polish that has a wax in it so it also protect. After applying a few pea-sized spots with the polish on the pad, you're gonna dab the paint to just spread it and then using a lower speed setting to work the polish into the paint before going to a higher speed setting and really correcting it. 
Here I'm using a speed setting of around two to just spread the polish onto the area I'm working on before going to a higher speed, around five or six, to really work in the polish. This paint wasn't terrible, but wow, what a difference just this one step solution made. The smaller areas in between the window and fenders, I'm doing by hand and just applying the polish to an applicator pad. That guy to the left of me is my brother. He helped me film some of the shots, so it wasn't just all GoPro footage. Would love to know what you guys think. Do the cinematic shots add to the video? After six hours of washing, claying, and polishing, let's check out the final result. What's up guys? Now that the exterior is done, we're going to move on to the interior. Luckily the owner had the doors on when he went mudding, so there isn't so much mud inside, but it still needs a deep clean. I know a lot of you commented saying to take the seats out, so that's exactly what I'm going to do with this detail. So now without further ado, let's get on to the before shots. First things first, take the seats out. Now I unbolted all the screws for video purposes. That took me forever. Way longer than I thought it would.
found a nice, crisp, moldy, stuck together $10 bill. Of course, I gave it back to the owner. So I found this plastic fork, which actually came in handy because it helped me scoop all the garbage and like that gunk that's underneath there. For the only area of carpet in the Jeep, I'm doing an initial pass with the shop vac and then hitting it with the drill brush to bring up any more dirt and sand and then going over it with the shop vac again. Now these were the worst cup holders I've ever done. Besides soggy papers, there were about $20 worth of coin mixed with what looked like pond scum. The drill brush took care of this hardened mud with no problem. I'm going around the Jeep using the drill brush to go over any area that has that hard caked up mud. Moving on to the door and door jams, I'm using an all-purpose cleaner and a detail brush and then wiping it up with a microfiber towel. Remember not to use the same microfiber towel for too long because you'll end up just smearing dirt all over your cleaned areas.
recommend a steam cleaner enough for areas like the center console. It helps with melted crayons, candy, spilt soda, or in this case, pond scum. After using the steam cleaner and wiping it up with the microfiber, I use the all-purpose cleaner and detail brush. That stuff that looks like dirt that isn't coming out is actually the adhesive that was uh, attached to the carpet. To shampoo the carpet areas, I'm using a carpet cleaner diluted 15 to 1 and my chemical sprayer. And then the steam cleaner just to help with the extraction process. Moving on to the dash and the steering wheel, I'm using my all-purpose cleaner and then hitting it with the detail brush. While vacuuming the seats, my camera actually stopped recording, but just wanted to let you guys know that I did vacuum the front two seats. What I like to do is spray a little bit of the carpet cleaner on the seats and then work it in with the drill brush. You don't want to spray too much cleaner on it and really soak the seats, but these seats are that tight, hard fabric, so it's a little more forgiving. And because of that, I knew I wasn't going to be able to use my extractor, so all I did was wipe it up with a microfiber towel. One of the 
the last few steps is applying a UV protectant dressing. The product I use is Silk and Shine by Chemical Guys, and I swear by this stuff. The shine lasts weeks without it being greasy. I was told by a few to roll down the window a crack to get the top area of it. So shout out to those guys and thanks for the tip. On windows that are really bad and dirty, I use one microfiber and then go over it again with a waffle weave microfiber. All right guys, after five hours and blood, sweat, and tears, I got some chemicals in the eye. Check out the new and improved Jeep Wrangler. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new, say hi and hit that subscribe button.